So we have a first terminal. I'm going to install uh, Genesis. And if we want to take a look at Genesis, uh, here's the GitHub repo. Everyone's talking about it. I used everything from Isaac Sim, Gazebo, Majuko, O3DE, Carla, you name it. Uh, all, you know, all the all the good ones. So I'm gonna just follow these instructions and have you follow along. I'm gonna put this in a side window so it gets out of the way. Anything that I come up with as notes, I will uh, create some notes just about that. So here we go. We'll just get started and uh, collecting all of these things. You need to have a torch, I believe, to get started. And I normally do these in the VNV uh, virtual environment, but today we're just going to just see what we got just to get started. So I'm running, uh, and I am, I'll probably show my my uh, graphics card settings, but uh, I'm running a 4090 GPU on a laptop. So we'll see how that affects uh, Pedantic Core. Um, let's see if it gives me an older version of Pedantic. Oh, no. Um, Pip does not like, uh, no, 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 opening R. Everything looks good. All the packages are installed. Unstructured clients requires Pedantic 2.1. It's time to update Pedantic anyway, so um, install. I think it's just Pedantic. Uh, maybe if I can spell. Uh, maybe I'll upgrade Pedantic. I'm, I'm curious, uh, you know, if I need a particular version of that, but let me just check and see. I am using some of this. Um, um, looks like, looks like I'm fine to just upgrade. I'm not doing anything special, so I'm just going to Go ahead and upgrade. There we go. So we're at 2.1. Uh, requires pedantic less than 2.10, but you have greater than, but you have 2.1. It was incompatible. Okay. So probably going to run this guy in a, um, let's see if it runs first. And then I'll probably, um, if it does run, everything's great, then I will leave as is. Otherwise, I'll come back and, uh, you know, just work out what else I need to do. So here we are, we're going to look in, uh, um, see what it installed. And they have this handy uh, user guide, which I wasn't following. I just kind of like to work my way out, but there's an entirety of this user guide. Um, very good. Talks about what is Genesis and it's lightweight. Uh, available on Mac, on Mac, on Mac, and others, and new physics simulator. The coolest thing is about the GPU acceleration 10 to 80x. So let's see, that would make this faster than any of these existing uh, that I've used without compromise. So also we'll see what it does to my, my uh, memory after this is all over. So there we go, and here's a list of uh, what supports. I got a little cold, so I've already installed uh, pip installed Genesis World. Started with that, and then uh, here motion planning functions wraps an intuitive API. Uh, download the wheel here, 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 and then pip install it. So I'm actually going to do that because I do quite a bit with motion planning. So uh, and there's my wheel that I need. Ah, we'll do that later. I don't want to do anything uh, that I haven't done yet before. So, um, fancy visuals, fluid deformables. You, yeah, I will need that. Some, wow. So, yeah, that's interesting. Cargo uh, splash surf. I have not 
installed uh, splash serve. Particle mesher, yes, um, but not uh, uh, this one. So maybe we'll we'll do that, and then we'll we'll do the ray tracing render at some point in time. Um, yeah, I'll I'll get I'll I'll deal with the, all these kind of optional ones later. So, right. Then we um, are going to run through these dependencies. Let's go ahead and run through this list. Password in there. Oh man, I forgot to put my beautiful face in the corner um, for all of my viewers to talk at. Um, add a repository, agree with that. Ooh. My wife is wifing. Really good at it. Okay, so um, then after that, we're just going to um, yeah, it's true. I agree with all that. Free software. Okay. Okay, so we're good to go there. Um, so I have CUDA already installed, so I don't need to do that. And then uh, uh, I'll just tell you, show you what I'm looking at. Um, Rust, which I don't have, and Vulkan. Zip. So we're going to get all the. We're going to do all these. I didn't see any upgrade CUDA, but let's see how this goes. Rust. I always say that I'm going to play with Rust and I never do, even when our uh, CTO mentioned how awesome Rust was. I still stick with my old uh, C++ and Python, but uh, I see the merits in Rust. And I'll, I'll come back uh, maybe in another video and do all the optionals. I, I feel like I, I need to know more about what they are. I don't like to just randomly accept what's uh, been given to me in this world. All this should already be, but I'm just going to make sure. <laughs> okay, I think I think we're, I think we're uh, pretty much good to go. Anymore. Felt like I should have already had that, but whatever. I, this is a new uh, machine, new install, brand new. I'm just going to use this as my uh, Isaac Sim, uh, Isaac Lab machine. And then uh, after that, we're just going to go ahead and compile all this. And what the, oh, I didn't do the Luda one. That makes sense. Okay, uh, a Luda renderer. I didn't actually do that. Um, sub module. Oh, it's under extension. But, all right, let's uh, let's skip past this. It's, it seems like I'm running out of time. My uh, the the babies are crying, and the wife is calling. So it, it talks about Genesis a little bit, and uh, you know Genesis's mission, um, real world physics. Um, 
which is interesting uh, because NVIDIA is involved in this and they also have their own uh, Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab, so I don't know what's going on there exactly. So we're going to go through the basics of the example. I heard this didn't work from others, but let's try it. Let's see what happens. So they walk through, and I'll just show this on the scene. They, they walk through the uh, initialization steps uh, in detail, give you a kind of detailed breakdown of what's all happening, loading objects into a scene, generating objects, etc. Um, okay, it looks like they um, they are going to support URDF, which is important to me. Uh, Zacro, hopefully, or not, we can just uh, export Zacro back to URDF. We need to do that. And okay. And then uh, auto caching first run exit normally or it's killed. Okay, okay. And optimizations. Okay, so let's see. Let's just kick the tires and try this out. I have not um, even remotely looked at this or tried this. Um, so you're this is live with me um, in our first experiment. We'll just call this Hello World. And this Python file. And Copilot is already angry. It's like, what? What are you doing? Um, so let's see. Just cut and paste. Okay, it understands Genesis, at least. That's not a bad sign. Let's try to run it. And wait for the error. What's the error? Come on, give me an error. Oh, it's running. don't see anything, but there's building a scene, compiling simulation kernel, so I am over here looking, I'm looking at my memory uh, on the side, and uh, still memory is looking good, compiling simulation kernel, so let's just see what all this does. Again, this is fresh install, I haven't done anything, no updates, so let's see what happens. Super exciting. Well, that's going. I am so bummed that I wasn't on camera for this, and I'm not going to, to do this again, because you guys know I'm a um, one-take master here. Building visualizer. So it's actually going to build a visualizer. I'm so excited about that. Um, okay, so it's building a visualizer, still doing stuff. In the background, I'm, I'm trying to figure out uh, what happened to my camera on this new Compiled kernels and exited, so I'm not quite sure. Exiting Genesis, running at, said it was running, and already encapsulates all the necessary steps. Logging, creating a scene, in Genesis scene. Load objects into a scene, it did that, I guess, apparently. And then, Build the scene. Yes, it did that. And then visual. Oh, visualization and rendering. Maybe I missed something here. The viewer. If you're connected to a display, you can visualize the scene. Ah, okay. So here we go. Um, so let me let me tell you, show you what I'm reading here. I thought I was going to see something, and then I was reading the code, and it was kind of hard to tell what's encapsulated, what's not. Um, so there we we have seen that build, seen that start, camera recording. Here's the full code. All right, so we're gonna um, just call that example one, and I'm just gonna let that one sit, and I'll say I'll say uh, call this one example two, and then call that uh, visuals, and call that example two .py. So let's just see what happens when we run this. The other thing didn't break, so at least that was good. 
and we're going to go ahead and run uh, visual step pi. There it is with a GS CPU memory. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. That was awesome, man. Maybe we'll put a little weight in there so it actually runs for more than a quarter second. Let's see that again. We'll end the video on, on a win and come back and look at um, more of these and call this step one. This is running on Linux. Oh, that's amazing. Um, what did it say there? Uh, let's see if it says what it said. But it's also, like I said, there's a um, notes here you can all read, so I'm not going to go through the notes. But you, I encourage you, like I'm going to do, is go back and look through, read everything here, telling you what it's doing. Uh, this is very cool that we got something to, to happen. But if I'm going to be presenting brief tutorials on this, I too should be reading this, understand exactly what's going on. But I wanted to do a cold open, uh, an unboxing of Genesis, and there you have it. Have a great day.